Hi, my name is Anna Nikipirovic and today I will show you how to work the overlay mosaic crochet. This is a technique used throughout the West Yorkshire Spinners Lapland crochet along. I have designed the Lapland blanket for West Yorkshire Spinners using the wonderful Retreat Chunky. This is a beautiful and festive blanket, which is, well, to be honest, which I have found absolute joy to make. So hopefully you will too. The crochet along runs over four weeks. For the first three weeks, it's each section of the blanket. And on the fourth week, it's all about joining and making up and putting on the edging. Each week, for the first three weeks, you will get a chart and a written pattern for a section of the blanket. This one is week one. You have a chart and a written pattern. However, for this video, because I'm just showing you the technique, I will work of a smaller, smaller chart of the first part, just to show you how this works. So before we start, you will need a few things. You will need seven millimeter crochet hook, sharp pair of scissors, washi tape to mark your rows, and of course, two colors of the Retreat Chunky. I am using the colors I have used for the blanket, which is Adore and Pure. So let me move on to the smaller chart so I can show you everything. On the chart, you will notice that each row number is to your right which means that the chart is read from right to left on every single row. We will start each row with a standing double crochet. This is UK terminology. In US, it will be standing single crochet. And we will fasten off at the end, which will leave us with huge amount of ends on each side. Do not worry. You will not have to weave in all those ends. They will be enclosed in an edging in part four. The row one of the chart is chainless foundation, which gives us a wonderful base to start our work on. Also on the chart, you will notice Fs everywhere going all over the chart. The F stands for front loop treble two rows down. So in US, there will be front loop double crochet two rows down. I will, I will show you what it means when we come to it. Also on the chart, you've got the, the dark box is color A, the white box is color B. The dark, the dark box is Ado, and the white box is Pure. Let's get started. We will start with Ado. So grab yourself some yarn. So here you are. I'm starting with Ado, and we're going to start with Chainless Foundation. So this is chainless double crog double crochet foundation and for my swatch i'm going to make 23 stitches so i'm going to show you how to do the chainless foundation start with the slip knot let me move this out of the way so you can see a little bit better and we will start with chain two so make the two chains and you see the front of your chains have formed those gorgeous V's. But if you turn it on the side, you see a bump. There is a bump here. See, this is the bump here. We're going to insert a hook into this bump. See, of the first chain that we have made. Going to go yarn around the hook and pull it through this bump. That leaves us two loops on hook. Yarn around the hook through one. And yarn around the hook through two see so now we have a beautiful V on top and on the side it looks like this so from now on we will go into the side of our stitch so you see you've got a I'm gonna use the scissors to show you a bit better see you've got a loop here and immediately following that there is a loop here so if you turn your whole work to the back you will see those two loops side by side so we're going to insert a hook into those two loops see so go underneath those two loops yarn around the hook pull it through two loops on hook yarn around the hook through one then yarn around the hook through two and again we're gonna do exactly the same thing this loop here and the one next to it 
yarn around the hook through those two, then yarn around the hook through one, and yarn around the hook through two. So it's this one here. So it's this one here, and the one behind it. Yarn around the hook through those two, then yarn around the hook through one, and yarn around the hook through two. If you turn to the top of your work, you so you will see this gorgeous row of Vs. One, two, three, four. So we've got four so far. So we have to do 23 all together. So when your chainless foundation is finished, you can cut off your yarn, giving yourself a bit of a tail. Chain one and pull it through to fasten. Okay, so now let's grab our chart again. Now when you're using your washi tape, I usually put the, I usually mar mark the rows above the one I'm working on. Because in mosaic crochet, you need to see what you have done below to where you put your your front loop trebles. So you see, we just done this one. We're going to work on this one now. This one is just a simple row. So you can just place your washi tape above the one you will be working now. Grab your contrast collar. Now, this one is just a plain row. There's nothing fancy. However, things start happening now already. So the first two stitches and the last two stitches I worked as normal. So they are work into the full stitch. However, everything else in the middle is worked into the back loop of the stitch. So the first and the last two are full stitch. Everything else, back loop. First of all, let's start with a standing double crochet. So to work a standing double crochet, that's UK, US standing single crochet, you will start with a slip knot. On your hook, got a loop on your hook. Grab your work, make sure it's the right side facing. Insert your hook underneath the two 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 legs of your stitch, so the so the full V. Grab your yarn, pull it through as normal. You've got two loops on hook, yarn around the hook and pull it through both. So that is your standing double crochet. So the next stitch is also full stitch. So into the full stitch. And now everything else until the last two stitches is into the back loop of the stitch. So you see your, sti your stitch has two legs. So this is the front leg, this is the back leg. So we will work into the back loop. See, just back loop of every single stitch until the last two. Now we've reached the last two stitches, so we're going to work the last two stitches into the full stitch. So the both leg of the stitch. Okay. Grab your scissors, leave yourself a bit of a tail, cut, chain one and pull it through. See? So that's our first two rows done. So that's those two rows. So now we're going to move on to row number three. The reason I use washi tapes is because they are absolutely fantastic and they don't tear the paper. So they are very good. Very important thing that I have forgot to mention at the start is that the beginning square of each row symbolizes which color you would use throughout the row. So you see, I mean, we are going with different color on every single row anyway, but that, ju but that just shows you which color you will work with throughout the row. So for us, row, so row number three is color A, which is the dark one. And again, things started to happen here, but we're not doing anything yet. So what we're going to do, we're just going to work simply two no more double crochet, double crochet into the back loop of every stage until the last two. So it's going to be very, it's going to be identical to row number two, but in color A. So grab your collar A, we are starting with standing double crochet, so make a slip knot, place it on your hook, insert your hook into the first stitch, don't forget two legs of the stitch, so the full stitch, 
grab your yarn pull it through and finish off the double crochet as normal so that's standing double crochet and one normal double crochet into the next stitch and again one double crochet into the back loop of every single stitch until the last two so back loop is the back the back leg of our stitch here we go and now we reach the last two and we go into work one double crochet into both legs of the last two stitches cut your yarn chain one and pull it through okay so that's our third row completed so now we're moving on to the fourth row so you see now we will work in color b which is the white color when we have a box which is white on white with an f it it means we will work a treble into the front loop of the stitch from row two if we have a dark on dark box it means it's a double crochet into the back loop of the stitch so again first and the last two stitches i work as full stitches but everything else if you've got dark on dark box because we are on a light row if you've got dark on dark box it means it's a double crochet into the back loop if you've got light on light box it means it's a treble into the front loop of the stitch on row two because we are on the light row so we will be working in the light color so grab your collar b again we're starting with standing double crochet so make a slip knot insert it into your first stitch insert the hook into your first stitch grab your yarn and pull it through and one more full double crochet into the next stitch okay so we have two two stitches here so these are our two stitches here so now we come to our light on light box which is marked with an f which means front loop treble two rows down so we will work a treble into into the row of the same color you see so these are so these are our first two so we will work a treble into this stitch here into the front loop of this stitch here so yarn around the hook insert it into the stitch into the front loop of that stitch grab your yarn and pull it through three loops and hook yarn around the hook through two yarn around the hook through two so that's uk treble uk it's us double crochet see so now we have worked into the row of the same color and we're creating a, we're starting to create a pattern so then if we look on the next box it's dark on dark box which means it's a double crochet into the back loop of the stitch so insert your hook into the back loop of the next stitch and work a double crochet the next two ones a mark with F and it's light on light box which means we will work a treble into the front loop of the stitch in a row of the same color so yarn around the hook we will be missing this loop here because that belongs to this double crochet here and we're moving on to the next one so work a treble into the front loop and in the next one So if we look at our work now and our and, and our chart, you see we've got the two normal normal double crochets which we have. We've got the front loop double we, we we have a front loop treble which we do here. Double crochet, yes. Two trebles, we do have that. So we are right on track. So now we have dark on dark, which means a double crochet in back loop. And we're missing the, this this front loop here because it belongs to that double crochet then we've got treble yep 
then we've got another double crochet two trebles double crochet because it's dark on dark two trebles here double crochet treble double crochet so double crochet in back loop treble and double crochet in back loop two trebles one double crochet and we ending with the treble so two trebles double crochet and a treble so we've got two stitches left we've got two stitches left here and those two last stitches going to be work as a full stitch so in both legs of the stitch so if we look at our work and see if we went wrong anywhere but it should match our chart perfectly so you see treble two trebles see it matches everything perfectly so we're happy let's cut off our yarn chain one and pull it through let's move up our washi tape oopsie daisy so we are now on row number five and if we look at row number five, it starts with the dark color, with the color A, which means we will start, we will work throughout the row in our color A, which is our dark color. We start again with the standing double crochet. The first two stitches are normal double crochet. So again, we're starting at the beginning of the row. So two double crochet as normal and now we come to add the rest to the rest of the of the chart so now because we are working in our dark color if we come to white on white white on white box we will work a double crochet into the back loop if we come dark on dark box with an F it means it's a front loop treble into the stitch into the front loop of a stitch two row two row two rows below of the row of the same color so for us it would be number three then when we come to dark on white box we simply work double crochet into the back loop so white on white box because we are on a dark color is double crochet into the back loop dark on dark with an f it's a front loop treble into the front loop of the stitch two rows below which is for us row three dark on white box it's a double crochet into the back loop okay so we starting with white on white which is just one double crochet into the back loop we come to dark on dark with an f which means it's a treble into the front loop of a stitch two rows below so for us is the row three and you see this is the one that on the last row we worked a, a double crochet into the back back loop into the stitch so now what we're going to do we're going to work into the front loop covering that double crochet from last row see so then we come to dark on light which is a double crochet into the back loop. And again, light on light, which means it's a double crochet into the back loop because we are on a dark row. See, now we see here, so... So we have dark on dark with an F, which means it's a treble into the front loop of a 
of a row in the same color. You see, it will be this one here. So double crochet into this stitch. Followed by dark on light, which means it's a double crochet into the back loop. Oopsie daisy, I dropped something. Dark on dark with an F, it means it's a treble. Light, light, light on light, it's a double crochet into the back loop. Now we've got dark on light, dark on dark, and dark on light. So double crochet into the back loop, treble, double crochet into the back loop. So double crochet into the back loop, treble, and double crochet into the back loop. See, so it forms like a T. See, and we've got a T here. So now, light on light, which is a double crochet into the back loop, dark on dark, treble, dark on light, double crochet into the back loop, dark on dark with an F, it's a treble. So we've got a double crochet into the back loop, treble, double crochet into the back loop, and treble. So now light, l light on light, double crochet into the back loop, dark on light, double crochet into the back loop, followed by a treble, and then double crochet into the back loop. So two double crochets into the back loop, treble, double crochet into the back loop, and now we've got the two last stitches which are work into the full stitch, so both legs of the stitch, one double crochet, two, cut your yarn, chain one, pull it through to fasten off, and you see, you can see a pattern really emerging, and he also, if you look carefully, it matches our chart perfectly. Okay, so we are moving on, We are now going to be on row number six. So this one is a light row, as indicated by the first stitch here. So we're going to be working in color B. So again, always with a standing double crochet. So make a slip knot. Into your first stitch. And see, it's always on the right side. So always on the right side, into the first stitch. Yarn around the hook and pull it through and pull it through both. So that's one, and again the first two, it's always full stitch. So you see now we are on the light row. And again, when we've got light on light box, it means it's a treble, it's got an F here, which means it's a, it, it's a treble, and we will work this treble into the front loop of the stitch in a row of the same color which for us is row number four. See, so we will work our treble here. Then we come to light on dark box, which means it's a double crochet into the back loop. Then we come dark on dark boxes, but because we are, wor we are working in the light color, this will be a double crochet into the back loop of a stitch. So our first stitch is light on light, which means it's a treble. So we will work a treble into this stitch here. Then we've got two double crochets into the back loop. And then we come to our F stitch, which means it's light on light, which means it's a treble. So we work a treble into this stitch here. It's into the front loop of the stitch into the row below of the same color. And then we've got light on dark, dark on dark, and light on light, which means each one of the stitches is a double crochet into the back loop. So one, two, 
and 3. Then we come to light on light with an F, which means it's a treble, followed by three double crochets into the back loop, followed by a treble. So treble into the next stitch, which means be the front loop. Three double crochets. Followed by a treble. See, so you can see what you have created here. Then we come again to three double crochets into the back loop. One, two, and three, followed by treble, two double crochets into the back loop, and the treble. See, so we've got treble because it's an F and it's light, light, light on light color. We've got a double crochet into the back loop because it's dark on dark color and we are on the light color. We've got double crochet into the back loop because we've got light on dark box. And we've got a treble into the front loop because we've got an F and it's a light on light box. So treble. Two double crochets and a treble. And then we should have at the end two double crochets left. So because it's end, two end stitches, we're going to work them into the full stitch. Catch your tail, chain one, oops, and pull it through. It's all very, very nice and simple. You carry on in exactly the same way throughout the whole chart. So when I, sh if I show you the chart from number one. So this is your week one. You will work the chart throughout. So this is, you will make 87 chainless foundation double crochets and work the 41 rows of this chart. When the 41 row is finished, in, an, in ne next week you will get the following chart. You do not start again with chainless foundation, but you carry on from row 41 onwards okay now as you can see you again you're gonna end up with lots of ends at the end do not worry we will enclose all these all those ends in a beautiful edging so don't fret i won't make you weave them all in i promise so you will find you will find the patterns on west york Spinners website the link is in the description box below please do like share and subscribe and if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I, I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for the second part on how to finish off the blanket and create the edging.